Welcome back to another episode. And guys, today we are going to talk about Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous. Absolutely love this animated series. It is fantastic. You guys know I love, by now you know I love Jurassic Park, my favorite franchise of all time. And one thing that I steered away with this show for a while was the fact that it looked like it was geared towards young kids. And not that that's always bad. I mean, sometimes you can find a hidden gem with some of these shows. But this one, when I finally got into it, the first two seasons, season one, season two, eight episodes each, I blew through those within a day. Absolutely fantastic. Season three, within a day. Absolutely. Ten episodes this time. Two extra episodes. Every single one, fantastic. I love it. And something, an element that I love about this show is it's well acted. I mean, these are like supposed to be like, you know, like teenagers, these kids. But it's a good show. I don't care if it's, you know, it's if the ratings listed as a Y7, whatever, guys. This thing is fantastic. It's for animated fan and animation fans, you know, young kids. And there could be some imagery within the in the show that definitely could be startling to a young child. Um, but if you're a Jurassic Park fan, this is something you have to watch. You will absolutely love. All the characters are likable. Every single one is voiced very well in this show. And like I said, all the characters are, are just, they're, they're great. You don't want anything bad to happen to any of these characters. Now, something else I really like about this show is there are other human elements that come into play once in a while where they run into like, you know, you know a villain basically. But it's very, it's short-lived. Everything about this show is about these kids, these teenagers getting off of this island and surviving against the dinosaurs. And that is the heart and soul of Jurassic Park, and that is why I love it. It doesn't stay so much with the vil you know the human villain element of the show. It's all about surviving against these dinos. And again, we get just like you know with the Indominus Rex, um, or the in you know or the uh, the Indoraptor. This thing, I'm telling you guys, the one that they created for this, you know, the Scorpius Rex, part scorpion like the scorpion fish, along with a T Rex. This thing is creepy, and it was done very, very well. When it stands up, it, it almost stands up, almost has like a, um, like almost like a, like a human, almost. Like, a, a, absolutely, this thing was creepy. And it had these poisonous uh, quills, these spikes that come off of it. And one, one of the, uh, one of the yeah, teenagers does get injured for, you know, for a time within the show, and, you know, for a few episodes in. But... This, I'm telling you guys, just absolutely blew my mind. I just, I was going to just maybe like watch one or two episodes when the first, you know, when season three first debuted last week. But before I knew it, I was done. You know, I looked at the count. I'm like, okay, I'm probably like six episodes in. So I was already on the last episode. Absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for season four. Hopefully they announce it soon. But it's just, you know, quick video, guys. I just had to come on here and just talk about how great it is. I absolutely love this. This is definitely... This series right now is definitely in my top five of all time. Absolutely, hands down. So, like, subscribe, and comment and get the chance. Go watch Camp, Camp Cretaceous on Netflix, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.